What's up guys? Welcome back to another Giga Geek video. And recently, one of my Discord friends reached out to me asking to review his part list for him. And in this video, I will be sharing some of the adjustments I made and why. And without any further ado, let's begin. My friend wanted to build a PC primarily for gaming and spend around $1,500. So I made sure that he was getting the best performance for the dollar that he was paying. So my friend chose a Ryzen 7 3700X, which is no doubt a great CPU, 8 core, 16 threads, it can handle anything you throw at it. But since he's primarily using this PC for gaming, I opted out for the Ryzen 5 5600X, which is a killer deal for how much performance you are getting. Even though it's 6 cores and 12 threads, it will more than make up for those extra 2 cores lost that you have on the Ryzen 7 3700X. Now for the motherboard. I felt that an X570 board was a bit too high end because it has better power delivery, but he's not going to be he's not going to be overclocking the CPU, so it will, it'll kind of be a waste. So I opted out for a B550 motherboard, which is still great. If you wanted to in the future, you could easily overclock the CPU, and it's also cheaper. So that's another upside. It's cheaper so that you you can save money on other parts. And now for the RAM, he chose a. 16 gigabyte kit of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM, rated at 3200 MHz. This is great RAM with great RGB, but I opted out for a Crucial Ballistic 16 gigabyte kit rated at 3600 speed and still at CL16 cast latency. And that 3600 speed, Ryzen really likes that extra speed, which means that you can get extra frame rates just for 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 free and even cheaper. This is $20 cheaper than the Corsair RGB memory. And if you wanted to get RGB, RGB memory, go ahead. For the storage, he chose a one terabyte NVMe drive by Western Digital. With the money that we saved earlier, we can now get a Samsung 970 Evo drive, which is faster, and we can also get a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda drive for your mass storage. For the case, he chose a Cooler Master Masterbox TD500 mesh. It's an airflow oriented case, but for around $20 cheaper, you can get the Lian Lee Lancol 215, which has two giant 200mm fans that are also ARGB, and it has great airflow, and it also has a back fan, so there's no need to spend an extra $25 on another exhaust fan. Overall, I thought that the CPU cooler, the GPU, and the power supply were all a great choice. The CPU cooler it can cool the CPU with even mild overclock. The GPU is an RTX 3070, which is $500 cheaper than the 2080 Ti, but performs better than it. It's great for 1440p and even a little bit of 4K gaming. The power supply will be enough. It's 80 plus gold certified. It's 750 watts. It'll be enough even if you put the 3090 or 3080 in there. It should be okay. Good job. I had a lot of fun making this part list for him, and he ended up using the part list that I made the modifications on. And he's about to build it, and I'm super excited. And if you're interested, leave your PC part picker list below to, for it to be reviewed. Thank you for watching. Make sure to comment and subscribe, and like the video. And see you next time.